Hi, so this is my response to the media fast and immersion task. So for my media fast, I chose to do it on a day off from lectures and seminars. Um, I thought it would be the easiest way to avoid any posters or leaflets that you have to encounter every time you walk around the uni campus. Um, I knew that would count as encountering media and I didn't want to have to spend all day walking around with my eyes shut. So I chose my day off, but the biggest problem with that was just how bored I got in such a short space of time. Uh, I had nowhere that I needed to go or be. Um, normally on my day off that's fine, I can sit in my room with my laptop or phone, can get on with work or watch TV or go on Facebook and talk to my friends or any other social media sites. Um, this sort of fills the time but I mean without any media, you know, without any of these activities to fill my time, I think I just notice the void in my life that is sort of left when you take away any media. I think what I noticed from my media fast was just how much counts as media. Um, obviously, it's fine to take away, you know, text it or surf in the web, and you can probably cope like for a day or maybe even longer. But without reading or writing, I just was left with nothing to do, and it was a shame. As I think, with so much spare time on my hands, I could have been productive and I should have been able to do work. But without obviously writing or the use of textbooks or you know Google for any problems to like search, I couldn't do anything. Um, I was able to be a bit productive. Um, I think I've never done so much cleaning in one day of my life before. And I went for a run, which normally would have t it would take a lot more to motivate me to go and do it, but I just chose to because it really was better than sitting in my room doing nothing, you know, no matter how bad it was. And I just had no excuse to put it off anymore, so. Um, but, Obviously these things they don't take more than a few hours to get done and then you're left with still so much time just sitting in your room just with nothing to do. I was trying to wait till bedtime so I could just go to bed. I was looking forward to going to bed and going to sleep just so I could end the fast. Um, I think on that day as well my flatmates were quite busy. I had a day off but they didn't so when they were away I just had nobody to talk to. Um, I ended up just you know sitting in my room trying to kill time on my own really. Um, I actually did my media fast on a day after a night out, so I think I was lucky there that I got to sleep through most of the morning. Uh, the day was insanely boring as it was, Eve, so I think without adding in extra hours of fasting, I got a feeling of how boring and just lonely life can be without any media at all. The problem about doing my fast after a night out was trying to resist the temptations from my friends and flatmates. They kept trying to show me notifications of photos and talking to me on Facebook about what had happened the night before and I had to keep reminding them I couldn't look, I had to wait till the next day because I was on a media ban. Um, I think it sounds quite sad to admit it but I did end up feeling excluded from the group dynamics after even like only a couple of hours on a media fast. I just couldn't join in with any of their group conversations online. Um, I did end up feeling quite isolated because obviously in order for me to be able to talk to them I had to force them to all gather in the kitchen so that we could talk face to face but they were busy they just wanted to stay in their rooms where they were getting on with work and they could multitask send a quick text or Facebook message but without me being able to join in with that I did end up missing out on quite a lot even though it was only just for a day um, so yeah I think it really has shown me how much communication you do through like digital media messaging and how if you take that away you do end up just so isolated. On the immersion day I definitely noticed how having my phone back and the internet back it made me feel so much more in touch with like all my family and friends. Um, Obviously, like with the compression of space and time, it allows instant communication with people without them having to be there in the room, which is a problem I had on the media fast day. People didn't have the time to come and sit with me and talk to me, so we just didn't talk. But um, like when I got the media back, I could talk to them again. And I think this is just a massive part of my life, like especially at the minute, you know, I live four or five hours away from home. Um, obviously, I live in the south. I'm coming to uni in the north. It is impossible just to sort of go, oh, I'm just going to pop round for a quick chat like with my family or my friends from back home. 
I need things like my phone or Facebook in order to stay in contact. Um, and on the immersion day, it was actually my brother's birthday. Um, I would have hated for that to fall on the day of the fast. I just couldn't imagine not being able to ring him and say happy birthday and make sure I was still a part of, you know, the family celebrations. Um, so it it did show me how important it is to be able to keep in contact, you know, like really quickly and easily through media devices like my mobile. I would have fe felt so miserable and left out if I hadn't been able to speak to my family on that day. Um, it definitely would have brought my mood down. Um, so I've learned that, yeah, obviously I do use things like Facebook or my phone too much. You know, I noticed that when I was writing down like every time I used it in the immersion diary. But I wouldn't say that this is perhaps a bad thing. You know, I wouldn't say that media has had a negative impact on me. Because I just think if I didn't have this in my life, uh, I just, it would be such a negative impact on me. I think I'd probably just become like a depressed hermit or something if I couldn't talk to the people that are in my life like every day. I think overall what I've learned from my experiences on the media fast and immersion days, um, yes, there is a seriously high amount of media that we encounter on a daily basis. In today's society, you probably don't even realise it until you do something like a media immersion and you notice oh, just how many times you've had to write down that you've walked past an advert or you've been shown a really pointless photo or video on the internet by someone. But I still think media is beneficial to our lives. Um, it does obviously enhance communication and, you know, not even talking about digital media, but if you consider reading and writing is a part of media, you just couldn't live without those. Um, so I definitely think this has taught me, okay, there's a lot of media out there. Not all of it's great, but most of it, we couldn't, it's there for a reason we couldn't live without it now. Perhaps, you know, one good thing coming from a life with less media is just not having to make any more of these stupid blogs, which I've not enjoyed doing. But that was my response to the Media Fast and Immersion. Thank you for listening.